So ladies and gentlemen, what we discussed in our notes for classifying and determining end behavior, the first thing we have to do is make sure that we rewrite our polynomials in descending order. So to do that, I want to get another black pen. So to do that, what we're simply going to do is we're going to write them from highest power down to the lowest power. So I write f of x equals negative 4x to the fifth. The next highest power is 3 plus 2x cubed. The next highest one is 1. And then this is really x to the 0. So you do minus 3x plus 8. What? Does everybody see how what I did? No. Can you yeah. okay. All I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, is reordering them from the largest power to the smallest power. You have to do that. You have to do that. Well, you don't have to do that, but it becomes very confusing. And if I ask you to put something in descending order, that's going to be something important. And you're going to want to get used to it because for the rest of this chapter, we're going to need it in descending order. Okay. I was wondering about the 0 and the Because remember, x to the 0 is always 1, right? And 1 times 8 is just 8. And x is, can always be written to the first power. So does everybody follow me with this? OK. Now the next thing is just knowing the definitions of degree and leading coefficient. So to determine this, we need to know what the degree is. The degree, remember, ladies and gentlemen, is the largest power. So what is the largest power that I have? Well, uh, I, didn't, I didn't ask a specific one, but Stephanie, do you want to try the leading coefficient? OK. Does anybody want to raise their hand and try the leading coefficient? Yes, sign? Negative 4. So all we do when we're determining the leading coefficient and degree is just look at your first term. Yes. No, no, no. We're not looking for a greater number. The degree is the largest power. Your leading coefficient. Yeah, you just put it right there. Sit over there. Colin, you're probably going to want to go over that way. Oh, you sit right here. OK, that's fine. You can sit there. Um, so the leading coefficient is just the coefficient of the, po of the exponent with the largest term. It's, just this, it's always going to be that number. Okay. Now let's go into classification. Now we talked about classification. For those of you that were there on that day, you have notes. We classified polynomials only by a degree of 1, 2, and 3, and 4. 1 was linear, 2 was um, two was quadratic, three was cubic, and four was quartic. Do we have a, our degree is five, so we don't have a classification for this one, okay? Then we look at the number of terms. We only classified polynomials by number of terms that had one term, which was a monomial, two terms, which is a binomial, and three terms, which is a trinomial. You guys should have all of that in your notes. Here, we have four terms. So we, we just classify this saying it's a polynomial four terms, and a polynomial to the fifth degree. We actually don't have a name of classification for it. Okay, well, we'll do, but we're not going to go over um, what to do you know, with that. Um, now, let's go and determine end behavior. Since my degree is odd and my leading coefficient is negative, if you guys remember, or if you have your notes, you guys should have a nice little box that looks like this. And what I did was I gave you four, op four options for end behavior. When you have an odd and a negative, when you have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient, your graph rises right, I'm sorry, rises left, falls right. Okay? It's going to go up and down. We don't know what everything else in the middle is, but it's going to fall left, rise right. Okay? So that's how you do that one problem. Hopefully that's enough information to help you.